Good evening. Good evening, teacher Kike. Hello, Kenya. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Norma, Alma. Good evening. You are on time. You are very, very Good evening, teacher. responsible. Hello. Oh, you're very responsible. I'm pretty glad to see you now in the class. Uh, we're going to start in a couple of minutes, okay? I can see people are uh, getting connected to the class. Kenya Margarita. Let's see, Kenya Margarita. I have Norma Beatriz. Norma. Norma, you couldn't get into the class yesterday? All my events. Sí, es que ando un poco afónica, entonces, y he estado bastante mal, por eso no me pude conectar. Ok, eh, Norma, I will take it into consideration, ok? Ok. Alba Luz, Alba Luz, so, so Okay, remember to activate your camera, okay, so that we can see each other, we can interact during the class. Hey, Irving, hello, buddy. Hi, teacher. Hi there, is everything all right? Yes, no? I hope everything's all right. Okay, let us wait a little bit for the rest of the people. I only have five people and I need to start my class by having the majority of participants over here. Uh, well, if you want, we can start uh, talking about the homework, right? So that will be, a, a, uh, I mean, something good to start with tonight. Okay, I remember I, I asked you to um, tell us about your last vacation, right? So that's the activity for tonight. Hello, Rebecca. Good evening. Rebecca Michelle is over here. Okay. So, hey, in order to take advantage of time, why don't we start uh, talking about what you did during the last vacations? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, Rebecca. Welcome. I can barely see you, you for here. <laughs> yes, I'm in classes at the university. At your yeah. Wow, my yeah. goodness. That's good. Okay, so you have a double class tonight. <laughs> okay, so let me see. I have Diana, Gabriela. Good evening, teacher. How's everything tonight, Diana? Yesterday you had some problems, right? Manda? Uh, yesterday you you had you had some problems, right? But tonight it's I I hope yes, you teacher. you are better. Sí, estoy mejor. Excellent. That's what I wanted to to listen to, and I also have Julio. Hello, Julio. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, man. Uh, good evening, right? Yeah, that's right. Good evening. I uh, hope you are uh, okay. And do the favor to keep the, the 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 camera activated, please. Okay, let me see. Well, we are going to start. Okay, what? Why don't we start talking about what you did during the, your last vacation? Okay, we we'll last uh, one by one. Okay, meanwhile the rest of the people gather, right? Because I only have nine people. And I need to have the majority of the group connected in order to start with the with the topic for tonight. Uh, Kenya, can you tell us about what you did during your last vacation? Okay, uh, voy a compartir pantalla. Okay, so you you created something great. Okay, I have Alba Luz, all right. Catherine, Roxana. Okay, Kenya. Okay, wow, you include some pictures also. Seems to be fantastic. Okay, uh, my last occasion 
Uh, what did you do on your last vacation? Is the question. Yeah. Uh, my last vacation, I visited Hotel Villasol in San Diego Beach, La Libertad. I went with my family. My and my father drove a sedan car. Okay. Um, quiero pasar la diapositiva, pero no, no, no pasa. Mm. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, people. Thanks for helping Kenya. No, yes, Kenya. Mm -hmm. Con los direccionales también. Thank you. Okay, pues, sí. uh, thank you. Uh, we bought a cooler, a bistrowel, and a bottle of water. We had lunch. We had lunch, fish, rice, vegetables, tortillas, a cup of lemonade, and a cup of orchata. I sat in a beach chair and I wore sunglasses, a hat, and flip flops. I saw palm trees, some uh, waves, and the sea. We took a lot of photos. Uh, with our cell phone. I, I swam in a pool with my family. I love it this day with my family. That's it. Wow, fantastic. You also saw El Cipitillo in La Ciguanaba there, right? <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Kenya. That was fantastic. What about you, Alma? Excellent. Hey, I, I clapped your effort. That was fantastic. Believe it. Okay, now let's see. Uh, we have 15 people connected. Okay, and still waiting for Mingua. The rest of the people. Uh, okay, Sandra says hello to everybody. Okay, Sandra. Okay, and Alma, I, I wonder if you have something for us. Yes, teacher. Okay. So now you have your time. Yeah. Solo eh, voy a compartir la pantalla también, pero es, es, es algo pequeño, no es como lo de, tan bonito como lo de. Now, all of, all of them are good. I mean, all the efforts, all the effort you, you do is fantastic. Okay. No sé si se mira bien. Yeah, we can see it. On my Easter holiday, we went with my family to Panchimalco. We enjoyed the processions and religious activity of the state and the beautiful freezing weather of the town. We watched, watched the fireworks in the main park and ate the traditional food of those days with the only flavor of the town, torrejas, popotes, and mangoes in honey. Wow, I can see that you mm -hmm. love food. Okay, Kenya, you talked about delicious food, typical food. Wow, that was fantastic. Excellent, wow, I, I clapped your effort. You did a great job. Como dejo de compartir la pantalla? Uh, let me see, I will try to help you. Please. Uh. Okay. Stop sharing. Yeah, that's right. Stop sharing. Very good. Hey, excellent, Al Alma. That was Thanks. great. Okay, Irving, what's new, buddy? Ah, and also Julio wants to participate, but let us see, Irving, what's new? Do you have something for us? Peter. Hello. Hi. Hey, good evening, Jenny. Teacher, to... voy en camino. Ah, okay. Eh, este, por si no contesto, si me, si me menciona ahí en la lista o participa. 
Okay, now, now we notice that you are in the class. Don't worry, Jenny. Thank you. Okay, take care. Okay, Irving. Irving and after Irving, get ready, Jose Herrera. And after Jose Herrera, Christopher. Okay, then uh, Norma, and then we continue with Julio. Now, Irving, if you're not ready yet, you, you can tell us, okay? No, don't worry. Just let us know. Yes, okay, so go ahead. Yes. Okay. Uh, give me one moment. Mm. Pero este, no voy a compartir pantallas. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah, okay. no problem. There's no okay. problem. Okay. My vacations were the second week of April, and I spent um, with my family in my hometown in Barra de Santiago, where the patron saint festivities took place. I had a great time. Wow. Hey, good info, good pronunciation. That was short, but it was really good, Irving. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay. okay. Jose Herrera, go ahead. I, I think you have something else for us. After Jose, Christopher, after Christopher, uh, I, I wonder if Cecilia is ready tonight. And also Julio, right? So be ready, please. Okay, Jose Herrera. I'm sorry, Jose. Uh, uh, we cannot listen to you. Okay. So do you have problems with your microphone? Yeah, Jose seems to have problems with microphone. Okay, Jose, don't worry. We're going to get back. Try to solve the problem, okay? Christopher, let's continue with you, Christopher. Teacher. Hello. Yo, yo no entendí la tarea muy bien. Era sobre las vacaciones. Yeah, vacation time. Okay, I mean, I, I talked about three activities, right? First, vacation okay. time. Second is about a biography. And the next one is about an autobiography. Okay, but that will be little by little. Mm. ¿Cómo pasa mañana? Y la paso en diapositiva. Yeah, okay, it's all right, okay. Christopher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you a lot. Okay. You're welcome. Cecil. Obsessive, you were not in the class yesterday, right? Activate your microphone because we cannot listen to you. Okay, teacher, este, la puedo hacer mañana. Yeah, I mean, if you, hey, listen, people, if you cannot participate with the activity es que tonight. Como, teacher. Como yeah. yo no estuve en esa clase, no entendí muy bien. ¿Tú, ¿Usted me puede ayudar? Sure. Now, I was just telling you that if you're, if you're not able to talk about vacation time tonight, you can speak about a, a, a biography tomorrow. Okay? Si no pueden hablar de las vacaciones ahora, mañana tienen la oportunidad okay, de hablar de, okay. una, de una biografía. Okay? Algo, algo corto, de unos dos minutos, estaría bien para el día de mañana. No se preocupe. Teacher, okay. I have a question. Tell me, Christopher. The biography, uh, sería siempre uh, uh, usted utilizando el simple present. The uh, simple present. Uh, el simple present. Yeah. ¿Sí? Yeah. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay, let's see. In order to take advantage of time, because we have already spent 10 minutes, I will ask for volunteers. I saw uh, Julio who wanted to participate. Julio, this is your time. No, teacher, yo igual mañana quizás. So, la, to, tomorrow. Lo voy a mejorar, sí. Okay, that's mañana, good. Si so, but remember, tomorrow it's about biographies, okay? Today is about vacation time. Tomorrow about biographies, and the day after tomorrow, or I mean, uh, an autobiography. El día de teacher, mañana... Uh, yo quisiera participar. Okay, George. Okay, just give me one second, please, George. Mañana okay. es una biografía. Pasado biografía. Mañana. Yeah. El día después de mañana es una autobiografía. Y recuérdense, chicos, que tienen la, el, el examen de, de, de nivel. 
ok, no lo ven a, a pasar por alto, por favor, porque es sumamente importante que lo completen, ok, ok, Jorge Alberto, go ahead. Ok, uh, my vacation was quiet and didn't go out, but I was at home and I woke up, then I got up. Got out, then I washed uh, my face, then I brushed my teeth, and finally I went out. I went to the supermarket, and that's it. That's it. Wow, vacation time. Okay, that was really good. Okay, going shopping is, I mean, relaxing. Okay, that's really good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I saw Sandra. I wonder if Sandra wants to participate. Or if you want to participate, just raise your hand, people. Okay. I didn't go to work on the weekend. So I took my parents and had lunch at their house. I also had to go buy a shirt for my son because Monday was his relation. There was the next I took my hair and at the end, we went to dinner with the world family to celebrate. Okay, Sandra. Okay, Sandra. Okay, uh, I, I barely, I barely could listen to you, but well, it, it, it's quite good. I mean, what you did was really good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, is there any other participant who want? who wants to present information. Otherwise, we're gonna go over the platform, okay? Okay, uh, let's see. Let, I, I was, let me see, there are some people over here chatting, it says teacher. Ah, yeah, Sandra was the one who wanted to participate. Okay, very good. Now, uh, let's move on to the activities in the platform, people. Okay, now we have lesson objective as we usually have it every single night. And I wonder if, if there is a person who wants to help me to, to read. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, now listen, before getting to that part, before getting to the class, let me tell you the following. Um, lo felicito a los que presentaron, okay, y animo a los demás que pues, Si no pudieron participar ahora, que pues lo hagan mañana. Lo importante es que no, no pierdan este, muchas oportunidades para mostrarnos cuán rápido están avanzando. Si ustedes se fijaron, eh, las personas que participaron ahora, pues el, el nivel de inglés, ellos mismos se pueden colocar una nota, ¿verdad? Ellos pueden decir, wow, estoy avanzando y pueden decir que rápido, Eh, más o menos rápido o lento. Cada quien lo va a ir definiendo de esa manera, ¿verdad? Eh, queremos que sea, que su aprendizaje sea efectivo, que ¿okay? si es lento, si es um, más o menos rápido o rápido, pues eso ya es, son otras cosas, ¿verdad? Pero lo importante es que el aprendizaje sea efectivo. Now, let's see. Uh, I have something over here. Now, by, by the end of this class, hey, who wants to help me to read this? By this, the end, okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask a uh, ask uh, question. Double H questions. Double question. With uh, did with did was a uh, where was in where. Watching where additional you will practice 
conversation. Which illustrates With... how, how this topic is how used. How this topic is used, used in, in, a, in a real life setting. Thank you very much, Cecilia. Now, so we're actually, this is the, the most important part of the class tonight, okay? Double H question with T and uh, was and where. I mean, double H question words uh, with simple past tense. That's what we are uh, gonna study tonight. And as we usually do, okay, we're going to see some grammar. I will post the video sometimes in order to um, provide extra information regarding to the topic we are uh, starting tonight. Now let me see. Tell me if you are able to listen to the to ah oh, no let me see. Give me one second. Give me one second. I will I will share it once again. Okay, now yes, I think we're gonna see the video and we're going to study something else. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Well, uh... Well, we're gonna see something here. Now, uh, double H question words, people. Where? Where? When? What? Mm. Okay, no, but, but with what? simple past, we will have where did, where okay, is. where did you grow up? When did? When did you come? Grow. Okay. What was? I was, what was what was your what was your mayor? Why did you become why did you become, why did uh, you become all right? What do you think? What do you think? No. No, I why was, not? What why not? Uh, <laughs> Simple present. Ah, because this is simple present, right? Simple present, all right. Present. But the rest, yes. Where did, when did, what was, what did you become? And those are quite good. Okay, excellent people. Now let me see. I will I will clean everything here. And now, yes, right? I need two people to help me to read the conversation. I will play it the second time so that you can notice about pronunciation. Okay, then I will ask a, a boy and a girl to help me to read the conversation. I need to check uh, pronunciation. I will ask people who haven't participated tonight yet. Okay, second time, let me see. Yeah, I think over here. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form... Okay, so we're going to we're gonna two. read it only, oh. only once. Uh, I saw Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto, do you want to say something? Hello, Carlos. Carlos. 
I saw Carlos Ernesto. I saw Carlos wanted to say something. Yes, this year, all right. Uh, okay, Carlos. I want you... to participate. Okay, Carlos. You... Okay. Yeah. Very good. Carlos is going to play the role for Chuck. And let me see. There is somebody who hasn't participated. Okay. Fatima, uh, I wonder if Fatima is over here. Oh, let me see. I will check people here. Yeah, I can see Fatima. I wonder what's going on. Fatima, can you listen to me? I'm sorry, it's working. Uh, oh, okay, that's okay. It's all right. So I will ask somebody else, okay? Um, Cecibel, do you want to help us? Cecibel? Monday, teacher. Okay, help me to read the conversation. Okay, you will start. Okay. So, you worry did you run out? Okay, listen to me, Cecilia. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? So, Chuck. Chuck, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Grow up. Okay. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Grow up in Texas. I was born there too. Okay, good. Go ahead. I, guess, I went. Did you come to Los Angeles? Okay. In nineteen in nineteen ninety. I went to college here. Oh, what what was your major? Good. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Thanks. In Tallinn. That's interesting. 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 So, interesting. Okay. So we did you bacon. I hastily. Why did you become? What? Why? Why? Did you be, did, did you become a hairstylist? I hairstyling. Hey, Carlos, I I need the money, uh, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, oh. well, um, okay, that was really good. Well, okay, um, don't worry. Now, listen, uh, uh, Julio, Julio. Okay, Julio. Yes, teacher. Yeah, do you want to practice it? Yeah. Okay, Julio teacher. is going to help us in. Um, teacher, participate. Uh, okay, Alba, okay. So Julio and Alba, go ahead. <coughs> eh, fíjese, también quería decirle que quería participar en lo, hice lo de las vacaciones, pero me dio un ataque de tos. <laughs> okay. Y, y no so you, you will have your opportunity, Alba. Don't worry, okay? Okay, Alba, you start. Okay. So, what did you want? Ground. I grab. In Texas, I was born there too. And um, when did you come to Los Angeles? In 19, no sé cómo se lee el número. 1990. 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. <clears throat> I was an actor for five years after college. And that's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need <laughs> the money and I love being look. What 
do you think? Well, ow. <clears throat> Thanks. Okay. Okay, now listen. Uh, well, well, you are going to listen to it uh, um, later, okay? Because I mean... Los números se leen de dos en dos, ¿verdad? Yeah, 1990. Okay, 1990. Uh -huh. Now, I will play the last time so that you can listen to it uh, carefully. And if you want, you can also learn the conversation by heart. But what really matters to me is that you pronounce the words correctly now. Okay, let's see. Where did you grow up? Now, listen. Let's where listen did you grow up? Practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in... Uh, what did you listen to in the first one? Who wants to read? Who wants to repeat the first part? So, Chuck, where did you grow up? Chuck, where did you grow up? Okay, that's better. Very good. Now, listen. Texas. I was born there, too. Uh-huh. Next part. Who wants to help me with the next part? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Uh huh. Can somebody help me with the next part? Anybody? And when did you come to Los Angeles? And when did you come to Los Angeles? Next when part. Did you come to I went to college here. Uh huh. When? I went to college here. I went to college here. I went to college here. Okay, now listen to the next part, please. Anybody can participate now. Oh, what was your major? Oh, what was your major? Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five, five years after college. Uh-huh. Anybody in the group? Drama. I, I was, was an actor, actor for five years, years after, after college. college. After college. That's interesting. Uh-huh. That's interesting. Interesting. That's interesting. 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 Okay, interesting. so whenever you, whenever you find out the word that seems to be kind of difficult, practice it as many times as possible. Interesting, interesting. Okay, that's interesting. So you can repeat it. As many as many times you wish. So why did you become a hairstylist? Uh huh. So why did you become a hairstylist? Good. Because I needed the money. Because. Because I needed the money. Because I needed the money. Because because I needed. Because I needed, because I needed the money. The money. I, I need. Uh, well, I needed. I need Remember, money. it's in past. Needed. Needed. Need All right, needed. Need need because I needed the money. Needed the money. All right. And I love it. Look. What do you? And I love it. I Look. love it. Look. I love it. Thank you. Look. Well. Uh, and that's it, right? Now, let's, now, let's analyze see. how to form questions. How to with form question with did, was, was and where. And where. Here we go. Now, pay special attention. Later, I will, I will provide some feedback about the way the person presents the information. We're going to try to um, solve a couple of exercises. And then, um, if there are anybody else who wants to present vacation time, a homework assignment, you will you will have your time, okay? Where did you grow up? Like uh -huh. now the first one is where people. Where? <laughs> now and if I ask you, if I ask you the question, hey, where did you grow up? Yesterday we were like um Providing uh, the information about it, right? Where did you grow up? Listen, I think it's better if you listen to to his presentation first. I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become I a hairstylist? 
Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the question and answer. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word where then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past did after that we need to add the subject you next we include the verb in the present tense grow up finally we can add a complement in this case there is no complement Towards the right hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Pra or where. Okay, people. Um, I will try to provide some feedback about what the person explained. Okay, um, as you can notice over here, the first uh, word that you need to include in a question uh, like this one is a double H question word, such as where, where is used to talk about place, right? Where did you grow up? Okay, I grew up in Santa Ana. Okay, I grew up in Santa Ana. Where? When did you come to Los Angeles? Hey, where did you come to San Salvador? When did you come to um, Santa Ana, etc. Right. So it's a, it's a time, okay. Or in this case, a year. I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why? It's used to provide reasons, okay. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because now you see. Why, okay, is the word that we use to ask the question. And because is the word that we use to provide the answer, okay? Now, if you say why in Spanish, is por qué. 
And if you say because in Spanish is porque also, right? But this one is to create the question and this one is for you to provide the answer. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. That is the reason, right? How old were you in 1990? How old is to, to ask questions about the age of a person? I was 18. What was your major in college? What was? Okay, in this case, about a major, right? So the major was drama. It was drama. And how was college? How? How come? Okay, how? Um, it was great. How was college? How was school? How was a high school? Well, it was great. Uh, it was not that great. It all depends, right? Okay, and something else that I need to... Let me see, because... Hairstylist. Give me one second. Finally. Okay, now as you can see, we need a double H question word where in this case auxiliary did a subject okay where did julia where did marcos where did uh, alba etc right so we need a subject over here it all depends about the person you want to ask for and then you have the verb in the base form or in the present form well, when did you grow up okay or if you want to add a compliment, I, I was thinking about the, 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 the double H question, why? Why did you go to the supermarket? Or why did you buy, um, why did you buy that in the supermarket? Okay, so that would be another question. Card, you can see how these questions are answered. And if you see. know the subject, question mark at the end. And comment. Now, what can you tell me about this, this last uh, sentence? Did you wear a good student? Is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. So what, what is the correct way to ask this question? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I wear... Um, no. no. What is the right way to ask this question? Yeah, I mean you, we cannot use both, right? Did and where uh, uh, so the, the right the right way to to correct this is the following. I will let you know. Okay, let's see. I will include text over here. Hey, where are you? Where okay, me one second. Where are you a good student? No, yes, right? That's that's different. Were you a good student? Yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Okay, now if I ask you the question, were you a good student when you were in high school? Were you a good student when you were at, in high school? Did you say yes, I was? Or no, I wasn't. Okay, let me see. Let us try to uh, solve the exercise. Then uh, we're going to move on to something else, people. This is a knowledge check. Okay, and in the knowledge check, you have some instructions. You have to unscramble the words to create that questions. Oh, give me one second here. Unscramble, right? Born where you were. Okay, not where were you born, right? So what is what about the number one over here? Grow up, you did where? What's the question there? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? All right, number two, in the year 2000, all where you have? How old were you? In the year 
How do you? How old were you? In the year. How old were you in the year 2000? 2000. And a question mark. Okay, very good. Now, begin to study English. When did you go? When did you? When did you begin to study English? Study English. When did you begin to study English? And the next one, you born, where, where? When, where were you, you, you born? Okay. When were you born? All right, so let's see the answers. And let's see if we, if we did it in the right way. Where did you grow up? That's really good. How old were you in the year 2000? Good. When did you begin to study English? Good. When were you born? That's it. Very good. You did a great job. Okay, now let me see. So we're going to stop over here about this topic, okay? And meanwhile, we finish. Um, let's see. Why don't you start uh, looking for the information about the biography? Meanwhile, um, uh, I check the list of tiendas. Mientras yo eh, termino de revisar la asistencia, busquen información acerca de la biografía para el día de mañana, okay? Eh, antes de cerrar la sesión, yo le voy a pedir a, a algunos dos personas que compartan algo, que nos den una pequeña lucecita de lo que nos van a hablar el día de mañana, ¿ok? Voy, voy okay. a corroborar, sí, voy a corroborar la, la lista ahorita, ¿ok? Ok. Christopher Raúl. We can see Christopher here. Gloria Carolina. Teacher, teacher, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Yeah, that's right, Christopher. I saw you okay, now. Teacher. Gloria, I don't see Gloria. Héctor Adalberto. Uh -uh. It is Elizabeth. Jorge Alberto. Jorge David. José Okay. Jose Enrique. Present. Okay, Jose Enrique. Jose Luis. Hello, teacher. Okay, Jose Luis, very good. Jose Luis, you couldn't come to the, to the class yesterday, right? No. Jose Herrera, Julio is over here, Catherine Judith, Katie Tatiana, Reina Concepción, yeah, she's over here. Okay, Reina. Salvador Galdames, very good. Silvia. Susana. Uh, 
Okay, Wilson and Jenny. I, I saw Jenny, but let me see Wilson. Present teacher. Ah, uh, Wilson is over here. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so it's we're almost uh we're almost done, right? Uh, let me see. I wonder if you could get some info. So do you get some info for tomorrow? Where is the where is the activity for tomorrow? The the biography. Biography. It's about a biography. Who are who are you gonna talk about, Christopher? Um about of me. No, but that's an autobiography. Okay, I want you to be clear about what's a biography and an autobiography. Because biography is about a per another person, not me, right? And oh, autobiography okay. is about me. It's about me. Autobiography. Okay. Okay, okay you uh, can talk about about, a, about, a, about a famous person, someone you admire. Okay. And okay. the day after tomorrow will be the autobiography, okay? Okay, let me see. I I I think I have something over here just for you to have an idea about what I'm talking now. Let me see. I will share something with you just right now. I have an example here. Teacher. Hello. Uh, me corrige, porfa. My name is Cecibel. I uh my name is Cecibel. Um a teacher in board in La Union. I like I like travel for a different cities. Okay, okay, Cecibel, that's good, but that that's info about you, right? That's an autobiography. El día de mañana. Vamos con biografía de alguien más, ¿ok? Una biografía de alguien que usted admira o alguien, alguien famoso. Ok. Si quiere. Y okay. pasado mañana sí vamos con la autobiografía. Sería la que le acabo de decir, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. Ok. Now, now you, you have... My, my biography is very interesting in history. Ok, Jorge David. <laughs> My biography is interesting biography. Yeah, that's right, Julio. Julio is the one that's talking now, or Jorge. So now listen, mañana vamos a resolver este ejemplo, este ejercicio, mire. Se los muestro como un ejemplo de qué es lo que yo necesito mañana. My, My great... My great grandfather. My great grandfather. Oh. Ajá. Eh, aquí hay unos verbos, ¿ok? Eso es lo que lo que vamos a ocupar mañana. Lo vamos a resolver mañana. Vamos a hacer un repaso de cómo hacer este preguntas con double H question words. Pero lo que quiero que vean acá que es una eh, la persona está presentando a, a, al al bisabuelo. Bless you. Bless you. ¿Ok? Bless you, bless you. Okay, nació en Scotland, eh, vivió en Inglaterra, eh, se movió, se cambió de para Francia, etcétera, ¿verdad? Esto lo vamos a resolver mañana, pero es, es nos está dando este prácticamente la biografía de del, de, de, de su del abuelo. Ajá, pero este es un ejemplo que okay, ustedes lo pueden, pueden tomarlo en consideración si quieren hablarnos de un familiar. Si no, pues nos hablan de la vida de Michael Jackson o de otra persona que a ustedes les interese, ¿verdad? Y este, lo importante, como siempre se los he dicho, es que, lo, que practiquen mucho. ¿Ok? Que, que ¿Lo puede compartir, teacher, en el, en el grupo para agarrar ese ejemplo? Si quieren, pues, permítanme, lo voy a... Para que le puedan tomar una foto. Ajá. Lo vamos a compartir. Lo voy a... Let me see. Ok. 
Ahora sí, le pueden tomar una foto y si quieren, pues adelantan. Adelantan el ejercicio y al mismo tiempo, pues lo toman como referencia. Ok. Ok. Ups, no tengo mi celular a la mano. Pero tómenle foto a ustedes, por favor. Y alguien que lo comparta en el grupo para que quede ahí, este, para los, las personas que no pudieron ingresar ahora a la clase. Téngalo así, teacher, please. Ok. Yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. So that's information for tomorrow. Okay, I, I heard there, there were some people who wanted to present information about vacation time. Escuché que había algunas personas que querían compartirnos lo, la información acerca de lo que hicieron en vacaciones. Ahora es el tiempo. Todavía tenemos cinco minutitos. Uh, <clears throat> no voy a decir. Okay, Alba, okay. Uh, Christmas holiday, holidays of the years 2021. <clears throat> On December 24, 2021, I woke up very early, early and happy because it was a special day. In the afternoon, we went to church. Then we met at the house of my parents, my brother and nephew. We shared dinner and gift. Then we had a great time. On December 25, my parents invited my grandmother, my father, and three uncles to enjoy a delicious lunch. Finish. Okay, pretty good, Alba. Hey, you had a great time last Christmas, okay? Uh, yes. Uh, and this, this coming Christmas will be pretty nice also, right? So sharing time with family members, I mean, those people we love, that's amazing, right? It's, it's quite good. Now, is there anybody else who wants to participate besides Alba? I, uh, I don't know if Christopher finally could... Um, get ready with the info or if there is anybody else Not really. Okay, so if you if you don't I mean if you if you don't don't have the information ready yet, okay, um do me the favor to to try to to start working in the in the picture you took now, okay? Let's see if we can do it. Uh, if we can advance a little bit, because we still have five minutes over here. Mm, let me see. Okay, in the first one, in the first part. What do you think is the answer? My great grandfather. How? 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 Okay, How? very good. The past of have had, right? Remember, these are in present, but we need to have it over here in simple past. Okay, had an interesting life. He. Mm. He was. He was. He was. He it's was. the past of the verb be, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's about the past of the verb be. He was born in Scotland. Number three. He in England. He grew up. He grew up. He Grew, grew up, up. Grew up. Grew up. Okay, so he grew, grew up, up the past, up. right? So he grew up in England. Number four. He moved. Went. He, moved. Ah, he moved. He moved. He moved, right? Moved. So and he says that you have to use this verb two times, okay? 
He moved, moved to France. Yeah, he moved. moved. He moved to France when he was fourteen. He, he, he was fourteen. He, he went. Uh, 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 he went. Yes, he went to the university in in the USA. Number six. He met. He met. Okay. He, he met. Hey, what is the past? Yeah, he met my great grandmother met. there, and they in oh, Las Vegas. Get married. Get married. The get past of get got, got married, married in got Las married. Vegas. Aha. Uh -huh. They too many countries with their five children. He worked. He worked. He worked. He worked. No, no, I don't think so. Um, he moved, right? He moved. He moved. Uh, let me see. Uh, they moved to many countries with their five children. Number nine. Work. Work. Okay, work. he worked as a fireman he in worked. Poland. And the last mm -hmm. one, he, 10 years ago he, when I was he, two years. He died. He died. He died. He died. Uh, unfortunately, he right? died. <laughs> okay, people, that was a great job. Now, yes, hey, we spent like five minutes to solve this exercise. Tomorrow, I, I will check it, okay? But anyways, you already completed this exercise. So let us see tomorrow and get ready, people, with the biography. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.